Today we'll be doing a scalp detox which focuses on helping to remove dirt and impurities from our hair follicles and encouraging hair growth by delivering those nutrients and vitamins. So let's get into today's video. Hello my happy nappy crew, it's now I'm nappy and I'm back with week 12, the final week of our prevent hair loss challenge and you guys we are focusing on this scalp clay detox. Now if you have one or two of the clays you can use them. If you have all three of the clays you can also use them if you have one that also works as well. And yes y'all I am filming this video in reverse so stay tuned to the end of the video so you can see my final hairstyle as well as my dress as I'm about to head out for the weekend. Alright so let's get into first making our clay detox for our hair. All right, so let's begin with our clay mixture. I'm going to be adding half a cup of kaolin clay to the bowl. Next up is my rasto clay, y'all. This is my OG favorite. I don't know why I have not been using it lately, but I'll be adding three quarters of a cup of rasto clay to the mixture. Next, I'm gonna go in with distilled water. I'm going to be pouring slowly and begin the stirring process to help remove any clumps in the mixture. I added about half a cup to three quarters of a cup of water and just kept stirring. The mixture did get a little bit watery, so I went in with just a tad more powder to make a smooth and nice finish. Once that's done, y'all, I did add a one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar to the mixture. Now, one thing about this is the pH for this is not very high, so this is really unnecessary. But if you do have bentonite clay, please add in something acidic to the mixture to help lower the pH. Next, I'm going to be going in with my rosemary and peppermint essential oil, giving that a nice stir. Then I'm going to head to the bathroom and wet my hair down and begin with application. Alright y'all, so I just wet my hair with warm water, you know I have low porosity hair and y'all my hair is just giving thickness and health right now. Alright, but let's section it off and I'll start applying this clay mask to my hair. And y'all, let me tell you a little bit about Rasul Clay and why it is actually my favorite clay. So Rasul actually has gentle cleansing properties that helps remove any dirt, oils, and impurities from the skin and the hair as well without stripping away any essential moisture. It's a naturally gentle exfoliator. It helps to remove any dead skin cells, unclog pores, which we know is really essential to help promote a healthy scalp. It can also help to gently remove excess oil and help balance sebum production and cleanse the scalp. We know this is really important for those who are also suffering from any dandruff, itchiness, and dermatitis. Now, Rasul Clay contains many minerals that are really beneficial for the hair. For instance, it's rich in silica, which is an essential mineral that helps strengthen the hair and promote hair growth. It contributes to the elasticity and, res and resilience of the hair strands. There's also magnesium, which is known to nourish the hair follicle and promote healthy hair growth, and calcium, which helps to regulate hair growth and strengthen the hair follicles. It also contains potassium, which helps to maintain the moisture balance of the hair and improve the elasticity and prevent drying. The iron and sodium also contribute to delivering oxygen to the hair follicles, promoting healthy hair growth, as well as improving hydration and softness of the hair. These all contribute to the overall strength and health of our hair, which we know is important for laying the foundation for healthy hair growth. Now y'all, we started the beginning of our challenge with a bentonite clay and kaolin clay hair mask. So if you want to learn more about other properties of other particular clays, please check out those videos. And y'all, it's so important to detox your hair periodically to give yourself a nice refresh, a nice reboot. Now make sure you cover your hair with the clay. You do not want it to dry out on your hair. You want to leave it on for about 20 minutes. And yes, y'all, I'm actually going to be applying this to my face, to my underarms, and actually to to my inner thighs y'all i'm trying to lighten my thighs as we are preparing into our summer swimsuit season and y'all can i just say though that my hair is definitely grown in this challenge i cannot wait for next week to do our final link check all right, so y'all look at the curls, the definition, the hydration in my hair. It's just giving fullness, thickness, and a lot of health. 
Now I'm gonna go in with my Olinol deep conditioner and I ended up leaving it on for three hours. I actually applied it, I applied it overall and then broke it down section by section to detangle my hair and I used a plastic bag and then I put my scarf on and I spoke with you guys on Sunday live and y'all my hair just was feeling so amazing once I rinsed it out. Y'all the bounce, the curls, the hydration, just overall my hair is thriving right now. Now just excuse the little piece of conditioner I left in my hair, but don't worry, I'll definitely get it when, when I am styling my hair. Now today I'm gonna be using my Oat and Aloe Leave-In Conditioner, just something light, my hair is already very hydrated. And then I'm gonna follow up with my Hibiscus and Shebe Moisturizing Styler. And I'm gonna put my hair into very large twists so that it's at least mostly dry before I begin styling my hair. Now y'all, I'm actually going to be doing a quick and simple style because I will be heading out this evening. It is the weekend and it's time to get into a little bit of fun. So stay tuned for my final style. Alright you guys, so this is the final makeup look and style. I have on a really cute dress. I'll insert a clip here because I'm not going to try and stand and get it in this frame because it never works out for me. But let me give you a 360 of my hair. It is just in two ponytails, one up top, one up bottom, and then I used the Marley hair just to create the buns that were bigger. My buns are pretty large, but I wanted it to connect. Um, so this is the style, you guys. And I put a couple gold gems in the back. All right. Oh yes, and this is the back of my dress as well. Very cute. It does have like a built-in shelf bra, so you don't really have to worry about having your bra strap showing. Okay, so when I did my 360 earlier, I realized that my jewel had fell off when I put my dress on. So let's try that again, okay? And again, this is the back of my dress as well. Um, I am debating, should I leave the twist in or leave the twist out? So like, let's, you know, I guess I'll buy this time, by the time the video airs, I will have decided. Um, but let's see what it looks like. And leave your comment down below what your thoughts are. Should I have left the twist in or out? And I'll insert some clips of me um, at the boat party and you'll see how I decide to wear my hair. But you guys, that's it for this week. That's it for the challenge. Next week, I will be doing a final link check for you guys. Um, it will be the end of the challenge for me. Y'all might be a few more days behind me as some of y'all started the challenge a little bit later. But you guys, if you have any questions regarding this video or any of the videos we've done, please leave it in the comment section down below. But that's it for this week. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.